Guys, welcome back. This is part three, my chasing a world record bourbon. It is 9.30 p.m. I just got out to my spot. Just got everything set up. I'm gonna be out here for two days and uh, I'm a little tired from setting up, but that's probably just because of old age. guys watched episode one 17 pound eight ounce bourbon episode two my friend dean got that 19.2 my personal best was an 18.9 and that was a 36 inch fish so this is episode three i'm going to be fishing hard it is uh march 24th filming episode three Gonna try and make it happen here today for you guys. I am set up in 22 feet of water, just off a mid lake point. And uh, really I'm gonna expect to catch most of my fish in the, in the daytime. I'll probably head to bed here in about an hour. My chances of catching a world record, pretty slim, but you have to have goals. Back in episode two, we talked a little bit about uh, our previous world record catches. We were catching uh, the biggest burbot we were catching. We actually caught, I think, three that were in the 19 pound range, but we didn't catch anything over 20 pounds. We went from 19 pounds, we jumped right up to that 25 pounder. You know, you're catching fish in that 19 pound class range, there's, there's probably going to be a 25 pounder in the lake. There may not be many, but there might be some. Smirking it right on bottom. There we go. Get my jerks juice around. Doesn't feel huge yet, but it's a bourbon. smaller one. Nice little maybe 25 incher. First fish of the day. Came in, hit it twice. Dump them in. Oh. All right, first fish on the board. Just a little one. Maybe five pounds, and it is uh, 7.45. We're trying the spot we were at in episode two where we caught the big ones. And uh, it's a month later. So if these fish are not, the bit, if the big ones aren't here, they're gonna be spawning on the spawning ground. So we're gonna probably give it till about 10 or 11. If we don't catch anything big, we're gonna pack up and hit another spot. But uh, it's promising. We catch, we're getting uh, got a fish here. That's good. Let's see if they come rolling. Guys, nice first spot caught that one six pounder. I'm gonna make a move, and uh, it's 10 o'clock, so I'm gonna pack up and we're gonna hit a new spot. Um, the burbot spawn, man, if you could find the fish, um, you should be catching, you know, a fish every 10 minutes or so, but well, that's the, that's the goal. So we're going to pack up here, um, get to the new spot, get all set up. If you want to plan a, 
camping trip. Stay on the lake with a 2800 Eskimo shack, the flip shack. You can get everything in here. If you pack properly, cot, you know, coolers, heater, my big propane tanks there, bump board, all my fishing stuff. All I got left is my rod case and my sleeping stuff, really. And that just sits right up top here and it's gonna close all up nicely here and the auger's gonna go in there too. I'll show you guys here. There she is, all packed up. Everything's in one sled. Or everything's in my 2800. So yeah, 2800 Eskimo shack. If you want to do an overnighter, you know, don't pack too much stuff and you can get her all in there. Okay guys, just set up at the first spot. Set up jigging jaw jacker. Haven't even got my camera going here. So let's get this going and catch this fish. It's a big fish. That took five minutes. Good old jigging jaw jacker. Set up in 20 feet here. Our second our move paid off for sure. We're gonna crush fish here. This feels like a big one. This fish won't even let me take him off bottom. I like gain a little bit and then he takes it all. It's a big fish. Oh no, he got off. Well guys, that's how she goes. Big fish number one just got off. New spot. Lost that fish. It was a big fish, but that's okay. We're gonna get another one. Guys, what I didn't go through in episode one and two is uh, tackle I'm using. Um, we got some swim baits that I like to use more for uh, Lakers and it works still for burbot. <clears throat> Just a cheap three quarter ounce uh, bullet head weight. And I got some frostbite paddle tails. I have some other more pearl white paddle tails. And uh, yeah, really just kind of a bigger profile um, for these burbot. I like uh, bigger shank hooks. They got big mouths, holds the fish on better. And uh, if you're fishing for a bit smaller burbot, you can do what I did here is just put a stinger right on the end. So if they grab the tail, um, you still catch the fish if they're being more finicky. Oh! Hey guys, it's starting to happen tonight. Jiggy Jaw Jacker just went off. Feels big. I'm gonna take it a little bit easier on this fish. The last one I lost. Fishing in 20 feet of water here. Got a medium heavy rod. These big fish, they got a lot of power. Don't want to tear that hook out of its lip. Big 
big fish. Don't want to horse these fish in, but let's see if I can get them up here. Feels big, you guys. Here he comes. Just don't want to get caught up with the ice there. I got him on the side. Gonna have to get this guy to swim and try and curl him up sideways. Here we go. Put him right on the side. Wow, okay, he's coming in backwards. That's why he felt so big. All right, now I gotta get his head without this hook ripping out. Oh, it is a big fish though. Oh, this is weird. Bringing up a 10 pound burbot on the side of it. But that right there, small burbot though. Little eight pounder. I'm gonna let this fish go. I snagged him on the side. You gotta let those fish go anyways. And uh, these fish are ready to spawn, so just a small one. Get him back. He's got a little bit of a jump to go down there. Bye bye. So, guys, I'm going to show you how I set up my jigging jaw jacker and how I'm catching these burbot with it. A um, couple tips with a jigging jaw jacker. Um, if it's cold, uh, you need to run a hole insulator. It helps from that freeze up. Number two, your hole insulator has to be above where you're jigging. Like if your jigging jaw jacker is jigging up that much, you want to make sure that it doesn't come and hit this because the ice buildup on the line will hit this underneath and it'll hit the trigger. So make sure that you have good distance from the water to the top of your hole and center. There's like, there's like 10 inches there or so, or seven inches, so there's lots there. What I do is I drop my hook down and I just got a cheap floor mat, guys. I just made a cut in it. I just cut the center out. So put your line through the middle, all right? Lay that down, I get like to, make a little indent in the ice. There you go. Oh, it sits there nicely. I got a medium heavy rod. Um, any depth deeper than 20 feet, I like to use a heavier action rod for and for bigger fish too. So keep your face away from the rod. If it goes off, get that ready. So now you got your loose line here. Okay. Make sure the jigging jaw jacker where the line goes down is right in the middle of your hole there. And I just like running these about. So there's bottom. Oh, tighten that up. So that's bottom right there. It's at the most downward jig. So I'll snug that up. So that's right on bottom. So I'm gonna bring it up probably three or four inches, and there it is. Set right up there, Set it, uh, turn that on, and then just watch it jig. Watch the line to see it doesn't get caught as it goes up and down. It's sitting right in the middle, so we're good. Tap in the bottom. There's two fish down there. <clears throat> There's another fish down there with them. It's a big fish.
Okay. Evening bite has started. I got a deadbolt medium heavy from Frostbite Rod and this Vanford Reel. It's gonna put a licking on these fish. This burbot roll like crazy, these big ones. <sighs> big fish. <clears throat> like to see a fish bigger than that eight pounds right now. Here it is. Oh yeah. Man, they just look so fat when they're down there. This fish is all rolled up. Yeah, just another tank. Oh man! <laughs> that is a long fish, you guys. It's uh, skinny, but so long. What a dark fish, you guys. Look at that beauty. That fish will go 37. 37 inch. Even go a little bit more, it's kinked a bit. Thirty-seven inch. What a dark looking fish. So dark. I'm not gonna weigh this one because it is skinnier. What a tank, guys. Let's get this one back. Guys, day one is done. Caught uh, four fish, four burbot. Got me jigging jaw jagger set up and <laughs> I'm actually marking a fish, but uh, those suspended fish, they could be burbot. Just swimming around, they don't seem to be biting. But anyways, day one is done. I have my Eskimo 2800 this trip and I am all set up to go to bed and I will show you how I have it set up here so my head's gonna be over here and I just got some floor mats down and there's the box so then the two legs just sit in there and my cot is just a Canadian tire Wood's cot, it's a smaller one. I don't mind sleeping on it actually, it keeps me nice and cozy. And I have the one chair taken out. And this chair, I am just charging some GoPro batteries and I got my cell phone charger there. Jacket is hanging up. And things are good. It is cozy, but it works. And that's all I need. So tomorrow is day two, and uh, cross my fingers, I get a monster tomorrow. So good night everybody, and I will see you in the morning. Okay guys, it's uh, 7 in the morning, feels big, <laughs> now that's a nice fish to wake up to, 
Oh boy. That's like a 31, 32 incher. when you mark them and they actually bite. Oh, this is a big fish. This is a really big fish. I brought them up like three feet and that just wasn't happening. I gotta get this transducer out. I'm already tangled in it. <clears throat> wow! Burbit number two on the board, hopefully. I got my drag set just a little bit looser than normal. Just in case you have them lip hooked. You don't want to tear that hook out. Here he comes. Oh, he's going to go right back down to the bottom. Just being careful when he comes to the hole here. I'm gonna clean this out so we can see a bit better. Oh, he's doing the belly roll. Look at this. Not as big as I thought. Touching the heater there. Oh, not as big as I thought. That's actually a smaller one. That's like maybe five pounds. Nice little burbot. I haven't brought this fish off bottom at all. Come on. What a monster, you guys. Oh no, he's caught up on the ice. Oh no. <laughs> Look at Mr. Squishy. Probably a 33 inch fish. Thirty-one inch. He's doing some crazy runs here. Oh. Big fish in the shack, you guys. Huge fish. I'm trying to get my other GoPro going here. This thing, I set the hook on it, and all it's done is tear a line and sit on the bottom. Okay. What do we 
God. First big fish of the trip. It is Thursday night. I haven't even done an intro, you guys. Guys, welcome back. This is trip number three of my uh, Target a World Record, and I have hooked a giant bourbon here. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, guys. Okay, guys. I think I did it. Guys, I think I did it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh! <laughs> first fish. Guys, first fish. What? What? Oh, I'll try and get some better lighting here. Guys, first fish of the trip. I haven't even, I haven't even like set up. Oh my goodness, you guys. This thing is freaking huge. Like this is a giant. It's not crazy fat, but this fish is old and it is long. It looks like a leopard or something. It's crazy. Zero it out. Let's weigh this fish. This fish is 38 inches, guys. 22 pounds, four ounces. Oh my goodness. Guys, there's a 22 pound, four ounce burbot. This is my second biggest burbot I've ever caught. What a freaking monster. 30, almost 38 inches, 22 pounds, four ounces. There is so far my biggest bourbon of this trip of my series. 22 pounds, four ounces. Guys, there's a world record in here, but look at this tank. What a monster. Oh my goodness. 30, almost 38 inches. Okay, guys. This monster bourbon is going home. Not a world record, but what a monster. <laughs> 38 inches, 22 pounds, four ounces. Wow. 13 years it's been since I caught a burbot that big. I don't even know what to say. Well guys, I'm going to be packing it up tonight and uh, heading out. Thank you guys all for watching. I make these videos for you guys. I try and do different content. Next year, might do the same thing, or maybe I'll go target something different. Comment below what you guys want me to fish for and videotape for. I didn't catch my world record, but there's always next year. So thanks for joining along and following me on my adventure, and I hope you guys enjoyed the videos.